MP submitted a letter of no confidence in the Prime Minister this afternoon. John Stevenson, MP for Carlisle since 2010, said he was deeply disappointed by rule-breaking parties in Downing Street. His submission takes the total number of those publicly calling on Mr Johnson to resign to 28. A confidence vote in Boris Johnson's leadership will be held, as you know, if 54 letters are received from Conservative MPs. Let's turn to our political editor, Darren McCaffrey, who joins me now. Uh, hi to you, Darren. Um, it was, it was, she's not written a letter, at least not that we know, but Andrea Ledson's intervention, critical comments of the Prime Minister, really struck me because she was seen as one of the great tribunes of Brexit, uh, somebody who would be very much on side with the Prime Minister. And when she starts coming out and joining the, the Greek chorus of dissent, you start to scratch your head a bit, don't you? Yeah, I think this is the real problem in many ways for Boris Johnson, Colin, which is essentially uh, that there is no one group moving against the Prime Minister, it seems, that these are very disparate people from different sections of the party, different sections of the country. You're right in saying, uh, Andrea Ledson, now we don't know whether she's written a letter or not, but she certainly expressed her discontent with the Prime Minister, calling uh, his behaviour and what happened during the Partygate scandal as unacceptable failures of leadership. Uh, leadership of the Prime Minister. But you add to that some Conservative MPs in southern England who are maybe in Lib Dem uh, marginal seats, or the Lib Dems are the second largest party. Uh, some of those are pretty uncomfortable and have come out against uh, the Prime Minister. Then they're all kind of one nation Conservatives, those that have never really liked Boris Johnson's kind of leadership style or indeed the direction he's taken the party. And adding to that a couple of others who may well have lost their jobs. Andrew Ledson does fall into that camp as well under Boris Johnson. You start to get a sense that there is a bit of a movement, quite a strong movement now against the Prime Minister. Events are moving pretty quickly. It only seemed like a week ago in the wake of the Sue Gray report that the Prime Minister may well have passed that moment of danger. But that certainly doesn't feel like we're in that position. Now, far from it, Colin, there is a, a, a real possibility, a real possibility that the Prime Minister may have face a vote of confidence as early as next week. Now, the man who knows this, and there only is one person about how many letters have actually been submitted, is Sir Graham Brady. He is not going to tell us uh, this week. He only reveals uh, that to the Prime Minister uh, when Parliament is sitting. Uh, but it is entirely possible we've even met that threshold already. It's certainly going to be quite a tricky couple of weeks for the Prime Minister. As Alex Ferguson put it, squeaky bond time for Boris Johnson.